Welcome to tutorial on Bitsy. In this video I'm going to cover basic dialog objects, that is objects within Bitsy that say different things. To start I'm going to play this default game I've put together here. As we can see the first thing that shows text that is that says anything is the game's title, which helpfully says write your game's title here. And I can press any key to go on to the game part. Now using the arrow keys I can move my avatar around and interact with other things within this game. The two different types of interaction objects are sprites and items. When I interact with an item, for example right over here with this cup of tea, it says something by default, you found a nice cup of tea, and then when I press a key the item is then in my inventory so it is no longer on the screen. The other type of interaction object is a sprite. When I interact with, that is collide with, a sprite, it shows something, in this case I'm a cat, and then when I press a key, that dialog disappears. When I interact again, it says the same dialog. Those are the two basic interactions. An item, which can say or do something and then is part of the inventory, or a sprite, which can say or do different things but remains on the screen. So an item disappears or becomes part of the player's inventory and a sprite remains on the screen. The last type of interaction has to do with endings that are interacted with when the avatar collides with or interacts with them within a room. In this case I've created one ending, ending 0, with the text you left the room. When I collide with that, when I interact with it, it produces that ending, you left the room, which was the dialogue that I put within that one ending. Now when I press a key, the game is over because I have achieved an ending and play has ended. If I stop this preview, we can see the various different things on the screen here. Starting from the very left, the endings tab, or the endings window that I have here brought up as part of the tools, so from the top tools and endings, and I have the text, you left the room. Now, because I have this tab highlighted, it shows two ending zero on the screen here within the room, highlighted, two ending zero. If I click on it, notice it's now highlighted, I can remove it. The only way to get to an ending is to interact with it, the same as interacting with an item or a sprite. So, in, so if an ending is not placed within a current room, you cannot get to that ending currently. So if I replace it by clicking on Place Ending, I can put it back where it was, right there within that tile space. And So now when we interact with that, it will send us to that ending and show this text. So the other two basic interactions I spoke about are sprites and items. Now in order, over here in Paint and then Item, I can look at T, which was the name of the item, as well as the dialog it showed you found a nice cup of tea. Changing this, I can just leave it simply, you found tea. And it would then show that dialog before it becomes part of the player's inventory because it is an item. For the sprite, sprite A, this cat we interacted with, dialog says simply, I'm a cat. Adding more to it, we can put meow, so that will be the dialogue shown when the player interacts or approaches, as it says here, with that sprite. So we change the dialogue for the item and we change the dialogue for the sprite. Retesting the game, we notice write your game's title here using the arrow keys or WASD on the keyboard. I can interact with approach the item. We now see the new dialogue. And again, the item, is, the item has become part of the inventory. And we can interact with the cat. I'm a cat. Meow. And again, if we keep interacting with, it is the same dialogue. Finally, we can end by interacting with approaching ending zero. You left the room and play stops. So we can change the basic dialogue the default dialog for an item by changing its dialog within the dialog box here for items. If we had multiple items we could also circle through them but I only have one currently named T. Coming over to Sprite we see the currently selected Sprite, Sprite A, which is a cat, with the default dialog I'm a cat meow which will be displayed when the player approaches those items. 
So we covered items, which when approached, display some dialogue and then become part of the player, the avatar or player's inventory. Sprites, which show a dialogue but do not disappear, as well as endings, which are interacted with when the player approaches or interacts with the tile on which it's placed. The last thing that says something or has a dialogue element within the game is the very first introductory title, which we've seen multiple times now, which says, write your game's title here. I'm now going to call this Demo 1. So now when we play this demo game, we see the title, Demo 1, as well as all of the existing dialogue we saw for the items, for the sprite, and again for the endings, each time changing the dialogue that is writing new text within the dialogue box of each thing. Changing the ending for the ending text, the item text with an item, and the sprite text within its own dialog box each time. This has been a review of the basic dialog items within Bitsy. The basic dialog objects within Bitsy, the items, the sprites, as well as the endings, and of course the title, all of which say different things within Bitsy. Thanks for watching.